bottom line. Who wants to go? That's how we're approaching it from this this standpoint. Um, so any other conversations outside of that are, you know, it can't be specific to, but that's where we're trying to approach this issue. At Safe Flight, we know nobody likes a windshield check. Last few questions. Um, do you, you guys know what the plan for TJ Hawkinson is going to be, and also Andrew Van Yeah, well, yeah, great question. What's the plan, my man? <laughs> Where is TJ? Where is Hawkins? Hawk coming back? Is Hawk coming back here? I want to know about Hawk as well, though, because Hawk been quiet. I know he's putting the work in, but we seen last year he he set out the whole training camp. So what's up with Hawk? Is Hawk getting is Hawk getting all his money fully guaranteed, even if he don't play this year? What's up with Hawk, man? Let's ask the let's ask the real question, man. Let's not just focus on certain questions, you know, focus on a negative. Ask ask a, a variety of questions, man. Ask about the team. Ask real deep questions. You hear me? Yeah, some of the time the media be hypocrites, man, not really zoning in on the issues of the team. Ask about the old line. Ask about Bradbury soft ass. Let's ask real questions, huh? You hear me? It's easy to ask about, oh, Kyrie, Jordan Addison. That's all they want to zone in on. No, no, let's keep it real. Talk about the players now who going to be on the field when the, uh when you face them giants, dog, them dirty giants. You hear me? Talk about your interior linemen lacking. Let's ask real questions, media. Or you ride nuts. It's a kiss-ass business. Oh, Florio already exposed it. Florio exposed it. I get it. But let's be real, Vikings media. Ask the real question. Did you hear me? That's what I want to hear. TJ Hawkinson, is he going to be soft this season? Is he going to play? Is he the same? I mean, what it is. These are course. You know they're going to ask these questions, right? You know, you, come on, man. Let's, let's get rid what, if anything, they can do this summer and how you'll sort of approach that with them roster-wise and that sort of thing. Yeah, TJ will, will begin training camp uh, on the PUP list. Um, he's not shocked at that, not surprised at that. I don't even expect him to be back training camp, though. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to hold you. I don't expect TJ Hawkinson. Matter of fact, not just training camp. I don't expect Hawkinson to be on that field more than half the season, maybe the whole season, dog. I would not be surprised and shocked if TJ Hawkinson missed the whole season, dog. Knowing him, how he operates, how he moves, especially if he don't feel ready or he ain't got everything benefiting him in a certain way, 100% in the way he wants it, we know how he moves. So don't be surprised if that boy don't even enter that field, huh? Don't be surprised if he don't even take a hut hut hike here. No disrespect, it's just facts here. Well ahead of schedule from a standpoint of some of the benchmarks throughout his rehab, and and he's done it. TJ has looking back at the off season program, did not miss really a day outside of going to see. I'll clap it up, folks. Respect that. Respect that. It's good to know a tight end you pay so much is putting in maximum effort to recover and be on the field, which he should do. I gave him a clap, but that's something he should be doing. Does he want a cookie? That's his job, right? That's why he get paid millions, correct? So he should be putting that effort in, focused on rehab, dog. But shout out props to him because everybody don't do it, dog. So I, so I hope he bounces back. And like I say, for you sense, sissy sensitive soft people, dog, <laughs> I don't wish him no harm. I don't wish him bad. I hope he balls out. You hear me, dog? I hope Hawkinson eat heavy, just like every Vikings player, dog. <laughs> the, uh, his surgeon in Los Angeles, and he was here every single day. Uh, and then that continued through the summer. Um, so I think uh, Tyler and, and his staff feel really good about where he's at. But yeah. Score the facts. Score the facts. Not only opportunity for him, but opportunity for everybody. Score the year. Every tight end, but that's facts. Golden big facts, dog. Who going to step in? Who going to take advantage of the opportunity here? You know, the significant injury that it was, we want to make sure um, throughout our plan to when TJ makes it back on the field and can begin doing more and more um, throughout training camp and then hopefully at some point uh, when he's ready to go, uh, we want to make sure that, uh, you know, everything is done the right way for TJ because he is such a significant part of our organization moving forward. As far as and then just with Van Ginkle, he should, uh, you know, more than likely, um, you know, be able to start working himself uh, into a pretty regular workload uh, to start hopefully training camp. But you, he is not yet. Obviously. Clap it up for Van Ginkle, though. 
Now he's going to say something about not yet prepared, whatever, but you know, it's, it's looking good for him to return. Now Van Ginkle, he's another player. I didn't know the man had so many damn injuries though. Love the way he plays, love his mentality, his pass rushing ability, but that man injured. You know, call him Dalvin Cook at the linebacker position. You hear me? That boy stay injured. But hopefully he's on the right path and he can contribute at a high level. That's what I'm saying here, dog. It's about availability, homie, period. Can you be on that field? But Van Ginkle, hopefully he putting the work in. Obviously uh, worked, you know, with that group full speed. So we'll probably use the ramp up period and maybe a few of those days beyond to kind of gauge and see exactly how he's working through that early, uh, early kind of participation. But the expectation is we should be able to get him um, rolling here pretty good. Hey, as far, far as the QB goes, because we can't let either of you go without talking about that. Kevin, you, you said on radio, I think it was on Friday, that there's going to be a competition. Uh, Ask the questions, man. Ask the real questions, man. Come on, bro. All these soft questions, man. Get to the gritty, man. Who going to get to the gritty? This is what Vikings media is right here. Minnesota nice. That's why they soft. That's why the Vikings been average, dog. Get away with it, homie. Ask the questions, bro. Oh, man, let's ask the questions. How your defensive line interior looking is looking kind of soft. What y'all going to do about it? What y'all going to do about the weak link position, your interior line on your offense? What y'all going to do about it? We see, get, we see Bradbury get beat up by every defense, elite especially. What y'all going to do about the trenches? Huh? Who's your right receiver three? Come on, man. Is it a battle or not? Is J.J. McCarthy a bust or not, dog? Scary ask them questions, man. Why is J.J. McCarthy behind Nick Mullins? You hear me? Ask the questions, bro. We got to take advantage of the first team reps, and that is, I think you start the first game of the season. We'll see, man. We'll see, man. Um, you, you were talking about, and this doesn't contradict it, but at the end of the, the workouts, that Darnold was going to go in as the top QB. So what do you envision here? Is J.J. going to push um, uh, Darnold? Is Nick going to? Man, this is a competition, man. Who in the front, man? Is J.J. ahead of Nick Mullins, man? Can J.J. McCarthy compete, man?